back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to do something a little bit different. I have been having this video in my head in the works for a very long time before I actually did it. But today we're going to be recreating some outfits from goth people on Instagram. I use Instagram quite a bit. I use it to find outfit inspiration, DIY inspiration. Like a lot of my DIYs come from Instagram. So today I thought I would try and recreate some of the outfits I see on these Instagram accounts um, for my own wardrobe. So I bought my phone into this. I've been, like I say, collecting this for a rather long time, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. But quite a few saved posts on my phone here. A lot of these are kind of old because I saved them a while ago for ideas that I wanted to do. So I'm going to flick through them. I'm going to see if there's anyone here that I can recreate with my current wardrobe. I know quite a bit of it is uh, at my parents' house still, so I'm just flicking through, looking for something I could recreate like, right here, right now. So the first one I've come across, I think I actually might be able to do, it is a choker with a distressed cardi, jeans with patterns on them, and some chunky trainers. I can, I can do this, I have everything that goes into this outfit. I'm gonna screenshot that, and I wanna find two more. The second one I found is this one with fishnets, leather skirt, tight top and hold up garters. Now I have something similar, my t-shirt doesn't say that on it but it does say Princess of Pain, very similar fit. I think we can work with this so let's screenshot that one as well. The next one I found, this is also something I actually have in my wardrobe, it looks like a plain black dress, a chain belt and then some like fishnet sleeve situations um i don't think i have any fishnets turned shirts i do have a fishnet shirt but i will turn a pair of fishnets into a shirt i think i have every element of this outfit i don't have earrings i don't wear earrings anymore i don't have my ears pierced so i can't do the earrings but i can do everything else so i'm gonna go take this i'm gonna grab a bunch of clothes and then we'll be back and hopefully I'll be able to put like these three outfits together. Let's go attempt that. I'll be back in a moment. I'm back. I've got a huge pile of clothes in front of me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run back by them in the photos one by one so I can discuss what I chose and like what I have. So this first one, the cropped oversized got a sweater with the trousers. Um, okay, so this is such a DIY heavy look. I have got this distressed jumper. I DIY this in a video, I'll have linked in the card. The other side it is on. It isn't as cropped as hers, it's a little bit longer, but you could totally make it and crop it. It's also a different style of distressing. Mine is distressed all the way up, whereas hers are just, just along the bottom. That is quite an easy DIY to do. But I still have a jumper that I want to distress like that right now, so we're going with that. Next up we have these white patch jeans they are really really wrinkly now they're not the same as her ones her ones are from dolls i do believe um these were a diy i did on my channel i showed you guys how to add patches to jeans i am planning on making a diy pair of jeans similar to the ones she's wearing but for now this is what i've got and we're gonna work with it the shoes i actually these shoes i'm actually gonna turn into diy similar to the ones she's wearing but i haven't got a chance to do that yet these are a pair of chunky trainers that i got from koi footwear and i got them with the sole intention of turning them into the trainers she's wearing here but i don't have any of the supplies to do that right now so a future video i'll hopefully be turning these trainers into those but i have a chunky pair of trainers and last but not least on chokers i've got so many chokers but i can i don't have one exactly like hers hers look like it's got more more loops um the ones i have so if i just picked up this one from my collection it's just got like a o-ring with the two clips it's the closest one i have to hers if you want to see a full choker collection i have that link in the cards also got a pair of black socks uh let's do the outfit shall we i have taken off my backdrops and i've scooted you guys back a little bit so we can see the outfits so the reason not on a blank wall so what this bone is taken on a plain white wall like this one so i'm gonna go with the first outfit first it's just the jeans and the t-shirt quite simple um let's take my jewelry off then we can hopefully try and recreate this photo and to simulate the shoe change she has going on i made this necklace 
I think I can hack it into a shoe chain. So I've clipped one end to my shoelace and just tucked the other end in. I hope it's gonna work. I just had an idea to simulate the spikes on her shoe. I've got these two spiked hairbands that I made. I'm gonna wrap this around my shoe in an attempt to make it look like the photo. So in order to prop myself up higher, I'm gonna put on a pair of new rocks because they have really chunky bases. So I hopefully to prop myself up with enough height to get this photo. I have got you now at essentially ground level. I think you're too low. I'm not sure how you will get these photos. It's way too much effort for a photo. Now you're too zooming. I think I might have got it. I need like a patch here. What patch? What patches do I have on my stash? Hopefully this works. So let's get off this more over here. Did I get it? <laughs> Um, I'm calling that a win and I'm changing into the next one because I am boiling my butt off right now. So the next one is the one. I don't wear tops in this silhouette very often. The one that I do have it is velvet. I had the toss up between this velvet one and I have got another one that's got a giant cross on it. It's just Princess of Pain. Similar graphic, similar idea, similar fit, so it's the best I can do. As for the top she's wearing underneath, it looks like it is a pair of tights. So I'm gonna turn a pair of fishnet tights into top. Um, the belt leather skirt, I do have one. I've got several leather skirts, but one that I chose to wear was this like slim one rather than a flared one. This I got secondhand from a trad shop. I think it was around three pounds. The belt, I picked up this one that I've got from um, Romwe or Shein. Uh, I think I might change out the loops here for just a plain chain. I got these from Shein, like I said, in my recent video, and I've also got a very similar one from AliExpress. I chose this one because it has the grommets like hers does, but I am going to be changing the chains out for just a plain chain. And just with the chains out, I have this chain. So this is a DIY that I did a while back. I also made it on some bigger chains, if that makes sense. So a while ago, I did these side chain hips. So I got some more chain, this is actually like proper chain. Uh, and I changed, did the exact same process, just made it into this. And I have a little bit left over, so I'm going to make another one to go on the other side. The only issue is, it's the tiniest bit too short, so I'm going to use these um, to extend it as much as I can. This is just temporary, it's just for the photo, so you're only going to see it from the front. So now it's at roughly the same chain length, I'm going to add one more just so I can use that to secure it to the belt at one end and then the other end I'm going to add a jump ring and clip the same as this side and then for the tights I picked up these ones these are like literally broken apart and ratty I've kept them solely for the purpose of turning them into a t-shirt so as for the choker in this look I went with this one the one she has I've got a combination of this one but I don't have the exact one so I'm going to go with this it does have the d-ring or some patterning on it um, and then for her garter belt and her socks. I don't have any ones like the ones she's got, but I'm using these frilly ones. I did a DIY video as well as some plain ones. And I've also got this pentagram garter. It doesn't have any grips, um, hold-ups like hers does, but it's what I've got. So this person doesn't have shoes in their photo. And let's see how the outfit turns out. Okay, I'm in the outfit. Uh, I'm trying not to flash you guys, but I can't get rid of this. So we're going to have to work with what we've got. This is the most uncomfortable position for me to sing because my legs are not bent this way. Did I do it? And then the last one, it looks like a dress with like a very 90s style. So for this one, I picked up this velvet uh, dress. I got this from a charity shop for 99p. Just bodycon velvet dress. This chain sort of looking belt that I picked up for a tired shop for a pound. Some busted open tights. And then for the choker she's wearing, I have one very similar to this. I've got this one that I made out of an old belt, two old belts actually. Uh, these O-rings I picked up on a belt in my bondage belt DIY. And this belt I got for literally 50p at a charity shop and then punched some holes into. So quick and easy choker DIY. Then for the necklaces, I've got this chain DIY rosary. She's wearing a rosary and then some black beads. The only other black beads I have is also another rosary. So I'm gonna turn this so you can only see the black beads and then wear this chain rosary with it to create a similar sort of effect. 
Um, and let's see what the outfit looks like. How are we gonna do this when my hair's really greasy and I look like a trash? I don't know what I'm doing. So it's really hard to do. Am I achieving this? I'm gonna call it there because I am too sweaty to continue. So guys, that was it from me. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Would you like to see more of me trying to recreate Instagram goth outfits slash photos? It was really fun to do. I am really, really warm though. It takes so much effort for me personally to do this. My body doesn't like to cooperate in holding things in places for a long amount of time. So that was like a mini workout for me. I'm sweating more now than what I did when I work out. Um, like I say, my body doesn't want to cooperate with me, so this is, it's difficult for my body to do, but you know what, I do it because I want to do it and I find it fun. And it's interesting to see if I can recreate these outfits with stuff that I already have in my own home. And the answer to that question is yes, I can. Quarantine means that I get to create outfits from my house. I do have a couple more that I do want to do, so if you want to see more like this, leave it in the comments down below and I'll try my hardest to give it my damnedest shot. Um, obviously all these outfits were cheap for me. I think the most expensive thing, probably my 15 pound shoes for my koi footwear. So this is a really affordable thing to do as well because you don't have to buy any more stuff. But guys, a, a huge thank you to our patrons because without them videos like this are not possible. But guys, stay safe, stay dark, definitely like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.